My name is Cassie Chandler and I'm with the Small Business Development Center at Jacksonville State University. So as of right now, only essential businesses are open in Alabama, but we're looking forward to, at the appropriate time, they can reopen. When they do reopen, we need to make sure that our small businesses are safe for both the employees and the customers. So there are some general advice, you know, general measures that we can all put into place in our businesses, such as social distancing, um, cleaning and sanitizing more frequently, and things like that. But within each individual industry, there are also some additional guidelines that can be followed. So, for instance, when we're looking at the close contact businesses, such as hair, tanning, nail salons, there's going to be a lot more close interaction between employees and customers. So there's some extra measures that can be put in place um, within those types of industries. So first of all, one of those things would be proper PPE. So this is going to include face masks or gloves or even gowns in some uh, different industries. But regardless, just make sure that you know from your state board, whatever industry you're in, that you're following the protocol with PPE. Also with these types of businesses, it's helpful to go ahead and have appointments set. This is not the time to take walk-ins, unfortunately. So be sure that your client base knows that if they uh, want to have um, an appointment with you, they, need, they do need to schedule that in advance. Any supplies that you use should be disposable as much as possible. So this will cut down on um, the reuse and re-sanitization of certain items. Things that you cannot use as disposable, be sure that you're properly sanitizing those between every single client. Um, a lot of these close contact service industries, they already have a lot of these measures in place. Um, it's just a good idea to go ahead and step those up um, during this pandemic. So another good idea would be to close waiting rooms. So typically if you go into a beauty salon, it's not quite your turn yet. So you sit down in the waiting room, maybe read a magazine, wait until it's your time. Um, in this instance, we need to close those waiting rooms. We don't need customers sharing magazines or other reading materials and things like that. So a best practice would be to um, have your client schedule an appointment, and then once they arrive at your salon, they need to remain in their car. Um, they can either text you, let you know that they're there, or you can send them a message and let them know that it's safe for them to come into the, the building now and, and it's your turn for your appointment. Um, so just be sure that we are closing common areas and things like that. So less opportunity for clients to interact, customers to interact.